All right, so today we're going to start to talk about um, some properties that we'll need to do some stuff for the rest of the chapter. And a bunch of these you've probably heard before, um, and that's okay. So we have the commutative property. Which just says that's right. if you do a plus b, you can also do b plus a. So it's like saying I could do 10 plus 4 is the same as 4 plus 10. You know that from a long time ago, but um, and then it works the same for multiplication. If you did 10 times 4, that's the same as 4 times 10. So the thing that you need to do when today's just going to be a worksheet and you're just identifying what the property is, but you need to put commutative property for addition or for multiplication. So if it's you know, the, I kind of try to attach some words. Community property talks about the order. So the order that you add or multiply is changed. That's commutative property. So just if, you, if it was an example like the top one, whether it's letters or numbers, you would put community property for addition or for multiplication. Okay. So the second one is the associative property. And so it has to do with grouping. So if you had three numbers to add, you could add any two as a group first and then add the third. Okay, so same thing with multiplying. So we could put numbers in there and it would still work out. So again, associated property for addition, associated property for multiplication. All right. So the next one, let's go with, this is kind of a weird one in terms of like when would you use it I honestly don't use it very often if hardly ever but symmetric property and that one says if a equals b then b equals a so you could use this like this one also with segments or with angles so you could say if segment AB equaled segment CD then CD equals AB if angle A equals angle B, then angle B equals angle A. So there's no for 
addition or multiplication or anything like that. <coughs> All right. So again, that one, like, it comes up randomly, but really, like, I don't, it doesn't get used very often. So that's one that you shouldn't see too, too often. All right. Um, here's one that it seems kind of like basic and it is, but we'll actually use it quite a bit. So reflexive property, like your reflection, when you look in the mirror, you see yourself. A equals A. It, you know, it's, why would you ever say that something is equal to, to itself? Um, I promise you it'll happen. <laughs> and I'll show you when. Um, so angle A equals angle A. So that's all reflexive property. We will actually use that quite a bit and maybe a little bit in this chapter, but chapter four, a lot. So it'll, it'll come back. All right. Um, this one is a big one. We're going to use this a lot, this chapter, transitive property. Um, so if A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C. So it's like if I have $5 and you have $5, and then you know, we'd have the same amount of money. And then if you had the same amount of money as your brother or sister, then I have the same amount of money as your brother or sister. It's kind of this three-piece deal. Um, and again, it works with segments. If AB equals CD and EF, or excuse me, and CD equals EF, then AB equals EF. And lastly, with angles, if angle A equals angle B, angle B equals angle C, then Angle A equals angle C. This one we'll use a lot. Okay. Um, one that I'm sure you're familiar with. Distributive property. A times B and A times C. <coughs> All right, then we have just a few more um, called identity properties. Um, so And this is actually used in solving equations. Um, we don't really talk about it in terms of using a property, but if you add zero to something, it doesn't change anything. So um, if you multiply by one, it doesn't change anything. So the way that I try to remember identity property is like you cannot change your identity. 
you can change your hair color, you can shave your head, you can let it grow long, you can dye your hair, you can gain weight, you can lose weight. Like those are all like physical characteristics, but your true identity, your fingerprints, your DNA, you can't change those. So that's the way that I think of identity property. Um, so, you know, it could, again, this is for addition and multiplication. Um, and so there will be some that are letters, but there will be some that could be like with numbers. So if you saw like 5 plus 0 equals 5, that's identity. If you saw 11 times 1 is 11, that's identity. <coughs> Um, so let's see what else do we have um, this is kind of a weird one multiplicative Property of zero. Anything times zero equals zero. Which it's like, duh, we learned that in third grade or whatever it was. <laughs> um, okay, and then last one we have inverse. Inverse property. So, an inverse is another way of thinking like the opposite. So, if you had two and then you added negative two, you would get zero. Okay, so it's called an inverse property for addition, or you may see it as um, the additive inverse property. But if you just put inverse for addition, we're good. Okay, and then um, for multiply, it's a little different. So um, let's see, a times one over a equals one. So it's basically, and I'll give you some examples here, but the way that I think of the multiply one is reciprocal. So if you had 10 times 1 tenth equals 1. So if you think of 10, remember 10 is really 10 over 1. If you had 3 fourths times 4 thirds equals 1. You know, if you had 1 8, you would need to do times 8 equals 1. So these are all different representations of the inverse property for multiplication or the top one is for addition okay and so again all your and we'll do some more work with the properties tomorrow um, there's actually a few more that we're gonna put in um, that are pretty straightforward um, but we will use a bunch of different properties um, moving forward some of them more than others and I'll make sure to highlight those so you know the ones that you really 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 need to know okay but today is just a worksheet um, you're doing 1 through 20 and you're just saying what the property is so all the answers are commutative property for addition associative property for multiplication transitive property, like whatever the properties might be. Okay?
All right. So have a good one. We will see you tomorrow.